Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Joy of Puzzles. I have for you today a puzzle that I call Wooden Bear. I call it that because, well, that brown box has no name on it, has no picture, has no information, and the puzzle pieces are actually made out of wood. And as you will see as the puzzle progresses, in the middle of it is a brown bear and a brown bear cub. Sort of brown, off green. So, this puzzle is a bit of a mystery, but I'm still going to review it and uh, provide a little information as we go, such as... I have no idea how old this puzzle is. I'm going to guess... 50 years? 60? Maybe more? Uh, I'm pretty sure we found this at a yard sale up in Maine somewhere. Again, total mystery, no information. Puzzle pieces are unlike anything I've ever seen. You can see in the image the shapes are very strange. I mean, they're called jigsaw puzzles because in theory they could be made with a jigsaw, but no puzzle is actually manufactured that way. This isn't manufactured that way, but it's so random it feels like somebody just took a picture over to a saw and cut it up. Very strange. The strategy for this one was, well, I had no picture, so I started with all the black pieces and just stared at the shapes until I got it to work. Uh, and that was fine. Uh, the black is actually the sky, so I have to reverse the puzzle, and then I just went from dark to light. The edge pieces are very difficult to solve because, again, the part pieces look hand-cut, so there are so many straight edges that you can't really tell what is supposed to be the edge of the puzzle and what is not. It also turns out I'm missing two pieces, so that adds to a, a little bit of the fun while trying to build the puzzle. Um, I don't have a piece count. I guess it's around 100 pieces, and it took about an hour to build. Time for the review. I'm going to review this puzzle in four categories on a scale of 1 to 5. The paperboard quality. Well, I use the word paperboard loosely in this case. This is actually board. Uh, some sort of plywood or uh, some sort of thin material. Uh, definitely not paper of any kind. I'm going to give it a 2. Uh, it was... it's firm, but very odd, and the pieces are brittle because they are wooden, not paper. Next comes the puzzle cut quality. So it's actually cut very well. I'm going to give this a 4. Um, though it is not a interlocking puzzle, it's a word you see on a lot of puzzle boxes, and it's one of those things like, why do they bother call it like that? Well, because they actually do make puzzles like this, where it is not fully interlocking. This puzzle can be pulled apart. There are, there are portions of it that just do not fit well together, in the respect that they're not secure. Difficulty. I'm going to give this a 4 as well. For such a little puzzle, um, the extremely odd-shaped pieces and not having a picture, not even knowing what I was building, did make it harder than it should have been, plus the missing pieces. Uh, <laughs> makes for a, a little bit of an adventure. And, and more challenging, probably, than it should have been for a puzzle this size. Frameability, the most subjective of all my categories. Yeah, I'm going to give this one a 1. Uh, as you'll see as it finishes up the off-green color and the very dark sky and just the blandness of the whole thing. This isn't a picture anyone wants. Um, not even sure why it's a puzzle. <laughs> I'd, I'd be very curious what the story is behind this, who made it, and why. Um, yeah. Overall, well, I'm gonna give it a two. <laughs> With it being missing a piece, I won't throw it away. I'll keep it in that terrible brown box, but not a puzzle that will get built again, other than if you wanna 
I can hand it to someone and say, oh, you think you're good at puzzles? Well, here you go. Have fun with this little adventure. I'm sure the first question will be, well, what is it? And how come these pieces fit the way they do? And I don't have good answers for that. It is a uh, short video, short build, so as we already come to the end, uh, I'm going to ask that if you, if you like the video, please go ahead and click the like button and uh, maybe even subscribe to the channel. And I can bring you more wonderful puzzle stories and adventures like this one. You know, this will be super popular. Uh, <laughs> all, all kidding aside, I do have many, many, many more puzzles to bring you. So enjoy and thanks for watching.